Joe Biden cannot continue to control this country if you have free access to information. It's that simple. Biden certainly is not improving your life. He's not even trying to improve your life. So the best he can do is lie to you and demand that you believe it. But to do that, he needs to make certain that nobody else can talk, because if you were to hear the truth, you might not obey. How is Biden going to pull that off? It's not easy. Well, one option would be to get men with guns to tell you to shut up. What the hell is Tucker Carlson complaining about now? Men with guns, those sound like malicious to me. But either way it goes, um, that's Tucker Carlson just from Thursday night complaining about what he's now discovered, which is the Department of Homeland Security's Disinformation Governance Board. That does sound scary. The Disinformation Governance Board. Um, so uh, as uh, he went through this further, he did also highlight what Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas of Department of Homeland Security did point out when it came to this program and he completely misrepresented it right afterwards, watch. We have so many different efforts underway to equip local communities uh, to identify individuals who very well could be descending into violence uh, by reason of ideologies of hate, false narratives, or, or other um, disinformation and misinformation propagated on social media and other platforms. Oh. Did you know that? So one of our biggest law enforcement agencies has men with guns around the country doing so many things to stop disinformation and false narratives. Those aren't even lies, they're just deviations from the approved script. America's told us again that men with guns plan to quote, identify individuals who could be descending into violence, could be descending. Not people who've committed violence or even been accused of any crime at all. DHS is instead using law enforcement powers to identify and punish people who think the wrong things. That would be opponents of the Biden administration. Is this dystopian fiction? No, it's happening right in front of us. That means that Joe Biden's partisan political enemies are now officially enemies of the state. You notice how none of that made any sense as far as reality. That was a, <laughs> that was a fiction that he went through that entire time. It was an assumption. Men with guns, he said three times just in that little clip. Because he wants to bury it in his viewers minds, men with guns are coming to get you. Men with guns are coming to get you. Men with guns are coming to get you. What do his type of followers think when they hear that over and over and over again? Regardless of what the, he showed none of that in that entire uh, diatribe there. Men with guns are coming to get you. They're coming to get you, they're coming to get you. It doesn't make any sense because this is exactly what it is. So a newly formed disinformation governance board announced Wednesday it will immediately begin focusing on misinformation aimed at migrants. A problem that has happened uh, that has helped to fuel sudden surges at the US southern border in recent years. Human smugglers uh, often spread misinformation around border policies to drum up business. Now, pause for a second. I remember when a lot of conservatives complained about the situation at the border. And they said all of these, and they call them more derogatory names, all these migrants are coming up here because they think the border is wide open. They complain about that and they said we should stop allowing them to think so. And I've always said, I don't think these folks that are traveling from country to country are holding a cell phone watching CNN going, CNN just told me I'm coming to the border. But apparently, there is some misinformation because it's from people who are trying to get this to move along. So let's continue on with why they're doing this. So first of all, Republicans should be happy about this aspect of it because it would limit that, but they don't want that. Continuing, last September, for example, confusion about President Biden's immigration policies combined with messages shared widely across the Haitian community on Meta's Facebook and WhatsApp platforms led some of the 14,000 migrants to the border town of Del Rio, Texas, where they set up camp. Some were ultimately expelled and were flown out of the US. Others were chased down by men on horseback and beaten. Okay, uh, the new board will also monitor and prepare uh, for Russian disinformation threats at this year's midterm elections near and the Kremlin continues an aggressive disinformation campaign around the war in Ukraine. Russia has repeatedly waged misinformation campaigns aimed at US audiences to further divisions around election time and spread conspiracy theories around US COVID-19 uh, vaccines. Hmm. So here we are with this. Um, we don't need to go to that last part. Let's open it up to you guys now. Okay, so there's two parts to this. Uh, one is uh, completely perverting the truth on what is actually happening with the government. The other is stoking uh, potential violence. And that's the super scary part. Um, so there is a, a, a new gr uh, thing called Disinformation Governance Board. What are the things that it is uh, fighting against? Uh, the migrant issue that JR pointed out. And if you're a Republican, you want them to tell the Haitians. It's not an open border, so do you want it or don't you want it, right? Mm -hmm. And this is in, in a, some ways also Biden trying to appease the right wing. But Biden, stop, stop, 
They all they ever do is twist it against you. Now there are other issues as well. For example, um, uh, foreign governments. Okay, I know the Republicans are now obsessed with loving Russia. Okay, and that's not even true after the war. A lot of them, according to the polling, have turned around and now support Ukraine. But there is a core group, including Tucker Carlson, that does that always defends Russia, and they say, "Oh, Russia, Russia, Russia! I can't with Russia gay. That's a total nonsense." Okay, I know you love it when Russia interferes here. Okay, so then let's say it's not Russia. If you don't fight against this information, you say the government is not allowed to fight against this information, then Iran can come in here and buy all the media they want. They have plenty of oil money. Venezuela can do the same thing. You just set up an open auction where every foreign government can come in and pour in lie after lie after lie. And you say, no, the government shouldn't be able to fight back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, does the government lie sometimes? Oh, of course. Of course, of course, <laughs> we call out the government lies under both Republican and Democratic presidents all the time. We were the one of the two national shows, yes, we're that old, that said, no, the government's lying about the Iraq war. No, he, Iraq did not attack us on 9-11, it's a goddamn lie. Warrantless wiretapping, we've told you about so many of the government lies. So if this turns into what the Republicans are calling it, because Tucker said it in that segment, the Ministry of Truth, right? Yeah. We'll be the first ones on them, we don't want those goddamn lies. And we've spotted a thousand of the, those lies, but this is not that. How do I know that? First of all, they haven't done anything yet. <laughs> so they're like, oh yeah, they're good. men with guns are coming with lies, and they're gonna be if they they if you disagree with them, they're gonna kill you. They haven't done a goddamn thing yet, <laughs> and good. if they lie, then I'm gonna come out here and say, oh no, no, no don't believe that, and they should disband that because it turns out it was BS propaganda. Is the government possible to do that? Of course, BS propaganda from the government. Have you heard of the Pentagon? <laughs> okay, yeah. so let alone the CIA, etc. So, but guys, the second part's more important. Jarrah's right, he said it so many times. As if there are actually men with guns coming to your house, if you're a right winger and say, well, who do you agree with? You disagree with us? That's it, I've got a gun here, right? And what is that gonna do, especially for right wingers? They're gonna grab their guns. And they're gonna think if the government official, any government official comes here trying to regulate my opinions, I'm going to kill them. Yeah, no, I mean, I think it's even a little darker than that. I think it's even scarier than that because the clip that he played for Mallorcas was essentially having some sort of stopgap for people who see that their friends or family or someone they know is being radicalized by, say, you know, white nationalist propaganda. Maybe they've joined a militia, maybe they have. He's speaking to men with guns about these so called men with guns from the government. And I, for one, am actually kind of heartened that there is this board, whatever, disinformation. Governance board. Maybe that sounds creepier than it should, but at least it's not the FBI because we know how ham fisted the FBI has been when it comes to any kind of domestic terror threats, right? Obviously, they love doing entrapment schemes. We see this with Muslim Americans after 9 11, and we even saw that in the kidnapping case of Gretchen Whitmer. A number of those guys were FBI informants. Of course, those, those guys got off. The Muslims who were entrapped by the, the FBI, no, 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 they, they definitely yeah, lock them up because obviously they're Muslim. So, but, but I think it's actually important you think about it. It's been four years, I mean, how many years since Trump was elected when like the internet went bad and we realized maybe this, this thing is actually not as good as it once was. And like there's been no, there's been no, um, there's been no protections. So like at least having something that isn't the ham-fisted FBI security state creating a minimal amount of protections and a little bit of a separation between our extreme security state or nothing, I think is good. So I, I hold my breath and of course, I don't want it to just be used against migrants because of course it's always used against people of color, yeah. right? And, and so uh, Tucker got obsessed with that. Uh, phrase descending into violence, right? So if the government is gonna use it for pre-crime, then I'm gonna agree with them, okay? But so far they haven't done anything. So I don't know if they're gonna use it for that, if they're gonna use it for the right reason, right? So uh, the entrapment that the FBI does is unacceptable, whether it's left wing, right wing, it doesn't matter, entrapment's outrageous. And by the way, the government for a long, long time, both at the national level and if you remember the story from New York City at the local level, they've been tracking mosques in the country for decades. They have no information at all that anybody's done anything wrong, that anybody's descending into violence. They're like, it's a mosque. <laughs> we're, we're just bigots, and so we wanna raid their houses of worship and spy on them. They've been doing that this whole time, 
And the entire time the right wings were like, yeah. get a boy, who cares, pre-crime all the way. Mm -hmm. Let's investigate that without any evidence at all. Now, the things that they're talking about in descending to violence, the FBI has shared some of that information. And yes, there's white supremacist group, but they're not the only ones. There could be Muslim terrorists. I know for right wing, you have to say Muslim, otherwise they don't care, right? So, but terrorists of any sort that are really deep into their plots and there's actually evidence and they've collected arms and they've got an indication they're about to use the arms. And remember, the FBI doesn't want to go in until then, otherwise they can't convict them, right? Other than it becomes pointless and they can't get the notch on their belt. So. There's a real reason for the law enforcement to go in in rare cases. And guys, what happens after every school shooting? Everyone, including the and most especially the right wing, goes, "Why didn't they do anything to stop it?" Mm -hmm. And then when you say, "Hey, let's do something to stop it," they're like, "Oh yeah, your men with guns are coming for my opinion." <laughs> hey Tucker, name one time that happened. It's never happened. He made it up. And if you're a right winger, understand that Tucker Carlson thinks you're a fool. He lies to you every night and then has a good laugh at night thinking, these suckers, I got them to believe that there's imminent raids in their house from the government with men with guns saying, don't believe what you believe. And then they'll turn around and shoot government officials. It'll be great. Yeah, and he's like, disinformation, that's my thing. I do it every single night. I love it. That's why Maybe that's so why he views this as a personal that's threat. Exactly. 100%. Right. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.